So next up we have each candidate in, in the same order answering the question that they received in advance of the night's customs. And if you didn't see the question on, on Facebook, it'll be up on the screen as each candidate is answering the question. So, so Mark, you're up again. Thank you, Niall. Uh, this is a, a good question and a, a pertinent one, I suppose, for me, given that we were the first party in the Assembly to call for a recognition of thank you payment to our heroic health staff for their efforts throughout the pandemic. I then led demands and calls for the extension of this payment to medical and nursing students, nurses, nursing students, and pharmacy workers. And I also led calls personally as my role as our community spokesperson for a similar payment to be extended or afforded to workers and supporting people, projects, people out there working day and night uh, to support and help many of the most vulnerable people in our society. My calls on both the communities and health ministers to establish a recognition payment for unpaid carers uh, were agreed to, were then announced, but sadly, and again typically, have yet to materialise. This is completely unacceptable. But the question asks, do I think that the, a similar payment should be awarded to school support staff? Of course, of course. We know the vital and valuable role that they play. Again, often, particularly classroom assistants, supporting vulnerable children, empowering them, enabling them to access education. Throughout the pandemic, they were in, the schools, even when many of the teachers weren't and most of the pupils weren't, classroom assistants were the, the glue holding it together for the key worker children and those that still had to come into school uh, during the day to receive their education. So while it would certainly support calls, and in fact my uh, education spokesperson colleague Daniel McCrossan has made calls for such a payment for school support staff. That's not enough. That's a recognition. That's a one-off token. You deserve so much more than that and should be demanding so much more than that. And we'll certainly support those demands. Not only is the pay in no way reflective of the responsibility that these heroes uh, have for the work that they do, but they don't even get it all year round. Uh, that, that's one thing that we'd certainly be fighting to change, and that's that, like teachers, they should be paid 12, 12 months, not just until school's out for the summer. The pandemic, I think, revealed to so many people across society the amount of people, other people working in society that they've just taken for granted. You know, be it classroom assistants, be it dinner ladies or dinner people, uh, be it supermarket and shop workers, all of whom put themselves at risk to, to help other people, to make sure that this place well, could keep ticking over. So certainly that should be repaid uh, financially in terms of improved pay and also through improved respect, improved conditions. We have to value these people and that value has to be reflected in how they are paid. We're also so they're going to have to rely on more classroom assistance. The outlook isn't good. We're having more and more children coming through with difficulties. They're going to need support to go through mainstream education. So it's going to be even more difficult. And we've seen this in the care, the social care sector, how difficult it is to attract people into a job. And in many cases, it's more than a job. It is a vocation. But there needs to be adequate pay for it. And we need to make it an attractive proposition to people, a realistic one, one that they can afford to do, as well as one that they want to do.